Okay. Welcome to another Stardew stream. YouTubers, if you click this at a date in the future when this wasn't live, thanks for clicking. Welcome. Alright. Are we good? I just gotta wait for this to load now. Twitch says hi. <laughs> I make it seem like it's just two different sets of people, but I think it's the same set of people. There, there might be a few that aren't here. <laughs> Stardew music, yes. You know what time it is. Hello, is it Twitch yet? Well, why am I at the TV? Okay, where is child number two? Because that's the only one we care about. Okay, uh, we gotta plant a bunch of stuff. We gotta get started. I hope I have the seeds. Now, I wish you could put seeds in the Junimo huts and make the Junimos plant. That'd be cool. That would give them so much more use. Like, I get that you can't control how they plant, but that's the trade-off, is like... They'll just plant the seeds in a somewhat uniform manner. Complete automation. Okay. Uh, I have beets, but I don't really want to do that one. Pumpkin. I gotta get more pumpkin seeds. I need like 400. Maybe more. To the swing of a. Alright. What is this letter? Just cactus fruit from Sandy. Right, I'll be back shortly. Gotta make the investment <laughs> on the pumpkins. Like, it might seem this is excessive, but this is probably going to cover the whole farm twice. That's it. Like, this is my season. Okay, let's go. I could have done Fairy Rose, but I think let's just worry about this. I'm doing that thing again. I'm not, like, keeping up to date with that. Why am I so bad at pulling <laughs> seeds down? Oh, 
But I gotta particularly make sure that the ones behind the huts are actually planted. Move mouse to the side of the screen. No, but... Like, I do hold left click. It's not right click. I do hold left click. I'm not doing click, click, click. Like, I always hold to move. It's just sometimes my character looks faster than the plant rate. That's all. Like, see? It's supposed to hold right click. What? Left click works as well. I think both... What's the difference between left click and right click then? Both work. That's so weird. I guess there's more of a delay on left click. They're both plant, it's just... I guess right click's like a more specific version of planting. Alright, whatever. It's done. Alright, all, all of these are gonna get used, like... Okay, I need to head to Robins and upgrade that again. You hold right click at plants while you're walking, not where you're aiming. Right. Okay. Alright, let me go set up this building before I forget. this one and then we can move the pigs down A bit of time before the next dinosaur is ready, so I'll just put that in. I'll just hang on to it because it's just a uh, low value one anyway. have a look around the farm and see if there's nothing that can accidentally destroy farthing or something. I think that's everything for today. Ah. Yep.
not put it in here. All right, I'll be back. Let me just... Okay, fruit I would have gotten yesterday, so it's not a fruit day. What about here? Um, six days. And a bit. the constant struggle for these trees to be able to grow. I'm having the same battle again. Just, okay. Alright, look, it's alright. That's, that's everything, I think. We're gonna go get fiber. Since the fiber would have reset. Suck. There we go. I mean, I may as well get bug me. I don't know. What if, like, one of the remaining fish asks for it? Ah, <laughs> it's unfortunate. But I also need it for the, uh, the flooring. I don't know, like, what else am I going to do with those Dwarf Scrolls? You never know, it could be a one gold difference.
This is a good season to come here every day because of the fairy rose. Aww. Got whatever I can over here. should be doing this. Start piling up for the winter. Got a lot of mouths to feed. now. One more tree. Alright, I think that was a fairly productive first day. I'll get the gems in the morning. Uh, is there anything else to sell? Yeah, the sweet jam berries. There we go. Where is child number two? Still makes me laugh that these fish offer you fish dish. Somehow. Like, they have an oven in there so they can make baked fish. Okay, let me see if I can make any more crystallariums. Probably not. Yeah, I can make like two. It's 
fine. It's better than nothing. Is that gem part of the mod? Uh, yeah. Alright, I forgot to stack the slime. It's like the whole uh, new region they're talking about. Okay, these are done. I need to make some coffee, so we're gonna make some coffee. It's worth just slightly less than a diamond, but it produces at a much quicker rate, so overall it makes more money than diamonds, by the looks of it. Jeez, <laughs> look at all the truffles already. <laughs> With that many kegs, automate would be perfect. I mean, I just wanted to experience expanded to be honest, like. I know there's a bunch of stuff you can do to make things less effort, but at a certain point you kind of lose what the game is, so. I'm okay for like gameplay expansion and like minor quality of life stuff. But that to me just, it sounds like, yeah, it just removes what the game is. Then again, I am making assumptions as to what that mod does. But if it does mean you don't have to go there and it does stuff for you, yeah. It sounds cool, but probably not for me. Hi, Farmer Will. Hi, Night Owl Laura. Wait, oh, it's this one. Okay, these are ready.
It makes it where if you put a chest next to it, it'll auto fill. So, isn't that what a hopper does? Or is it a little more intricate than that? Like, is it just bypassing a hopper and giving you an easy way to do it? Uh, okay. I guess it doesn't matter too much if I miss one. If I double things up, yeah, I've done this today. All right, we're done here. Uh, I'm gonna go get the daily fairy rose or whatever's there, and then I'll think about it. Oh. Yeah, maybe I should. Oh, it does collection. Okay, see, I, I just skimmed the sentence. I do that sometimes. Then, yeah, it's just like a, a more convenient hopper without, like, the cost of making it. Yeah. I mean, it's cool, but it, it's just one of those things that's, like, super strong. And there's no real... I guess effort to get it, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, having chess be able to do that, that's a bit strong. Kind of removes the spirit of the game for me. That scene is beautiful with the large tree in the middle. Oh yeah, that's the, uh... I already forgot on the word. <laughs> Nexus, jeez. It's part of the mod. What mod is it? Stardew Expanded. It's just part of the story content. It's a pretty good mod. It's still a work in progress, but there's enough there to include it in your playthrough. Adds so much more content. But there are areas that are sort of empty at the moment because I haven't fleshed it out yet. But I've been having fun with it so far. Have I heard of the Market Day mod? Uh, I have not. I haven't really browsed the mods, to be honest. Uh, most of these mods were suggested by my friend Kat, so, yeah, she gave me a hand, like, picking mods for me. Streamers are lazy by nature, if I can get to, like, a point where I don't have to do anything and have a gameplay experience, I'm all about it. I trust her judgement as well, so... She usually knows what's good. I don't want to go too overboard with mods, like I just wanted to have a slightly different experience. Okay, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna keep making coffee. This is gonna be done soon. And I'll make coal while I'm at it.
Whatever's left in the evening, I'll go. Do more. We just got 100% vanilla for the first time. 300 hours play, Stardew doesn't need more content. <laughs> Congrats, but you say that, I mean... There's nothing wrong with more content. I think the content that's added and expanded, it makes sense. Like, I think the, the best change for me in this that makes the most sense is once you finish the community center, having community day on the 22nd of every month, like... Have the townsfolk actually use the community center, whereas in, in vanilla, you finish the community center, it's a big deal, and then they never use it. <laughs> it's just such a simple thing, and I, I like it. Because it gives you, like, incentive for that event as well, because it's a day where every town person is in the same building for a few hours. It's great. So for like a friendship sweep, it's really good. One day a week in town you can sell your goods. And you can also buy from NPCs. Okay. That sounds neat. So it's kind of, I would imagine it's kind of like the, the, the Grange they have at the, uh, the fair. Yeah, that's cool. I missed one? Yeah, probably. I see it. Okay. I mean, that's gonna make a lot of triple shot. Alright, let's just go chop wood for the rest of the day. I just don't want to run the risk of, like, installing too many mods and having some clash with one another, because that can happen. And then you have to go through that process of, like, okay, which is the one that's making things not work? It's like a delicate balance. I think one day eventually I will come back to this once I hear that they've fleshed out the rest of the content in this. But it won't be for a while. And then maybe I'll be more adventurous and install more mods. I guess then I'll try to do some larger goal. Because this time it was just playing it kind of relaxed and... Whilst I did try to get the bundles done in the first year, admittedly I did mess it up quite a bit. Because I wasn't playing... well. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, by the end of this year, I have to get the clock and make the farm look nice. That's the only goals I'm going for now. Everything else is done, more or less. back and try and put another lot of coffee on. Play of 149 mods. Oh, you're more adventurous than me. I have a, like, less is more kind of motto.
I don't care if I don't get the whole lot in. It's fine. I'll just get whatever I can get on. It'll be done in the morning, so I just go grab it. Oh, I've missed several. I'll make it, I'll make it, I'll make it, I'll make it. Oh, crap. Hang on. There we go. Hey, Lolo, how's it going, dude? How's things? Okay, not bad. I'm pretty sure I missed a couple, but it's alright. The main thing is getting through the coffee because I, I was running low. Okay, nearly there. Going alright, finally trying out Vampire Survivors. Curse on Game Pass, how am I? Doing alright, man. Just settling into the year, you know. Um, I got a short work week next week, which is nice, because uh, it's like the equivalent of Independence Day, whatever, 4th of July. It's Australia Day here. So, that's the Thursday, and then I took the Friday off as well. Okay, it's Ancient Fruit Day. Mm -mm. I got the ancient fruit now. Most of the mods add machines, trees, foods, etc., but also new island areas expansions. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if it's anything like this one, I can imagine. Just for this first time, I went with, like, yeah, what was recommended to me. It's been enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, oh man. I got a lot to do this week work-wise, but it'll be nice to have the long weekend. Continue with the pale ale. Yeah, okay. From memory, you just sell the coffee now. It's like... It doesn't matter. I think the price of triple shot takes into account that you put three coffees together. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. 450 Yeah, so it's the same price as three coffees, so you don't have to combine to sell. Let me know if I've missed one. Uh, how are you finding Vampire Survivors so far, Lolo? That game is so addictive. Like, I keep playing it. And it's on mobile now, so like sometimes in bed I'll play it. Whilst watching TV. It's the only mobile game you'll catch me playing. That looks about right. Okay. Today, I think I'm gonna go get stone. 
Right, it's this one. I'm gonna sell half of them. Yeah, I need more stone. Okay, I'll be back. Ah, this is ready. You used to play a different MOBA ball game that was like the bargain bin version of this. Love how powerful it lets you get. Yeah, just the absurdity of the builds in that game. Just how it gets to the point where you can't see anything on the screen. It's, it's satisfying. Like, games that I enjoy are things where you can start with something small and then just with patience and effort you can make it something strong or, like, good looking. I'm surprised how much I've enjoyed that game, like... I'd heard about it, and I was like, okay, yeah, that, that seems cool, but I feel like it's gonna be repetitive, but... I mean, yeah, it's, it's fun. Especially if I just want to kick back and, like, have a beverage in hand as well. It's useful that I can just play it with one hand. That's definitely useful. There's another mod that you think I would enjoy called Ride Side Village. Hang on, let me pause it. Lewis has a sister near that town, adds new events and PCs, so fun, throw birthday parties, and in future have wedding anniversaries. That's cool. Yeah, well, I mean, next time I play this game, I'll have to, like, look at mods properly. It sounds like there's a lot out there, but maybe I'll ask some of the regulars, like, if they've checked any out. But that probably won't be for a long time, because after this I'm going to do Animal Crossing and other stuff. Why do you have to say it like that? There can be many benefits to a game that you can play one-handed. What? Jeez, dude. I mean, maybe I'm the one that has the brain in the gutter, but... Ah, oh, man. There are a lot of mods. Oh, no, I imagine so. But for me, a mod has to fit into this criteria. It, like, has to fit in and make sense to the context of the game. And it also can't be so overpowered because sometimes people that make mods tend to make things that are just so blatantly overpowered and better than anything that the base game has to offer, and uh, I don't know. I don't find that stuff fun. It kind of ruins the spirit of what the game is for me. But yeah, don't let me ruin your enjoyment of those kind of mods. That's just my personal tastes. Like, even with this, there are a few things in this where I'm like, gee, that's awfully strong. But for the most part, it's been fine. You can only speak in text, you can insinuate nothing. Dude, you ended that sentence with a lull. The emoji said everything. You didn't have to say anything, that emoji said everything. Like, it's kind of like Lewis and Stardew where 
You know, he asks you some for some truffle oil. And then the question itself and the request, it's it's perfectly innocent. Until he adds the part, don't ask me what it's for. And the moment he says that, you know it's not innocent. And that's exactly what that emoji did for that sentence. It's like, it was perfectly innocent up until the part you, where you added that emoji. Kind of implying that there's, like, a, a bit of innuendo going on there. I'm just saying, like, if you want it to be innocent, don't add that to the end of the sentence, you know? Hey, farmer. Uh, I heard you have an island farm. And you grow bananas. Can I have a banana? Oh, sure, Lewis. Don't ask me what it's for. See what I mean? It's like, the moment you tack that onto anything, it just sounds wrong. Like, you can imagine what's going on, really. Just ask for the banana, dude. <laughs> Don't add anything else. Wait, is this done already? I guess so. Alright. No slime today? Okay. I don't have the stone, actually. I gotta go get stone. To be fair, you end most of your messages with a lull or a lol. Uh, it's alright. Uh, let's, let's go through the history. Let's see. Message number one, uh, no lol. Message number two, no, there is an LOL. Message number three, there's a lol. Message number four, there's a lol. Message number five, LMAO and LOL. I guess you're right. Alright, it checks. Out of all the messages you've sent so far, only one of them didn't have it, so okay. I'll allow it. Valid excuse is valid, yeah. I've I've accepted the excuse. But I mean, you can't blame me, like, sometimes the trend here is someone will say something completely innocent and then it'll just go off the rails, like, people have dirty minds. It's, uh, fruit day as well, so let's... Gotta go collect. <laughs> the smut train. Oh, dude, I can't wait. Like, um, I got a t-shirt of my new warrior emoji. I, like, recreated the graphic in, uh, high resolution. I ended up going with yellow because it made it, like... I don't know, I think it'll look better, but we'll see. I know the other one was, like, more in line with the colors of the logo, but we'll see. I'll put pictures on Discord when I get it. It'll probably be, like, another week. I mean, I can always still get the green one later if I feel like this one didn't go well. But we'll see. Once again, this park, just once I finish decorating, it's gonna be awesome looking. Oh boy. Alright, well, I'm gonna be here for the rest of the day.
Um, also next weekend. I haven't decided when, but I'm because last year around this time we did like a night where we did scribble and you know those drawing games as a group thing. Like I might do that again. Because it just so happens to be like a particular anniversary of uh, a certain person. I'm going back there, I just need to do this stuff. So I don't know if you're going to be around next weekend, dude, if you want to join in. That goes for any other regulars as well. I haven't quite decided. I'll play it by ear. You're generally off Saturday and Sunday. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it would be a Sunday then, if that would line up with your Saturday. Even though I don't have it off, like, the Monday, but... Can work around it. I don't generally make a big deal out of it <laughs> every year, but yeah, I'll I'll do something. Leave a message in Discord and see who will be around. I don't know. Otherwise, I might just keep it low-key. Trying not to accidentally pick the flower. <laughs> there we go. My brother's been trying to get me to watch One Piece as well. Uh, I've been tempted to, but like, dude, that show is so long. But, I mean, I guess, like, with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, he was right about that. Like, I did get into it, so. He reckons I'd get into One Piece if I watched it. It's just. It's. It's a lot. <laughs> I have been looking for something else to watch lately, but I don't know. That's like a large commitment. You've heard it's great, but the sounds of ours. Yeah, I know, dude. They're like quite literally over a thousand episodes. Like when, when you use the term thousands, sometimes you're exaggerating, but no, with this, it's yeah, very much so over a thousand. Have I been watching the Trigon Ruby? Ah, oh, no. Is it good?
I'm just gonna go chop wood. I was gonna go get stone, but it's too late. I did uh, watch that ninety show on the top on the topic of reboots. It's not bad. Like, I think it has potential. Initially, I was a little worried about it that it was kind of just gonna be a new set of kids trying to mimic the old characters. But I mean, they do that to some extent, but they're their own people. And I mean, at the end of the day, like Red's still on the show and he kind of carries. So it's enjoyable. It's only three episodes in, but you legitimately like where they're taking it. I was, you were kind of worried it was going to be bad. Yeah, I mean, reboot these days, it, it's kind of a coin flip, really. Like, it doesn't always go to plan. I think that 90 show is, like, worth checking out, just if nothing else to see where the characters from the original kind of ended up, but I think it's, it definitely got laughs out of me in its own merit, so. There was this, uh, reviewer from IGN that was getting roasted on Twitter because of their review of the show. They were complaining about just too many references to old things. And this person was someone born after the year 2000, so they didn't grow up in that era, clear clearly. And I guess we're complaining about the references. So that was kind- that was amusing to see. You kind of missed the train on the original, that. I mean, it's not an- it's not an, an amazing show, like, I wouldn't say it's top-tier comedy, but... I mean, if you like... I think the way I related to it was just, like, the angry old father, like... I don't know, it just made me laugh. And it did launch the career of quite a few of uh, the actors there, so... It's a sitcom at the end of the day, like, it has its moments where it's a bit... campy and cheesy, but... I, I don't know, sometimes that can be good. All right, not bad. It's definitely worth a watch. Like, if you... Oh, the way I used to watch it, uh... Just... If I was, uh... Like, wanting something to watch during the time I was eating dinner. I'd just throw on an episode, and yeah. You'd say sitcoms in general have a hard time keeping you, but once in a while you like one. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, I missed the spot. I can't believe I missed the spot. The Big Bang Theory, you could never get into, for example. That one, it had me initially, and then it kind of lost me towards the end. Like, I feel like it kind of just became... Lol, this is what we think nerd humor is. I think there was a video that went around that um, kind of got me to realize that it's they do it with quite a few sitcoms and it's they remove the laugh track digitally. And when they did that to that show, it's just it's so horrible. <laughs> like It's just like, what? Oh, man. <laughs> but I'm sure that's most sitcoms It's just with that one in particular, it was kind of bringing to the surface something I was already feeling. You know? It's not to say it was a bad show, it's just... I think... 
It has, uh, I think it ha every sitcom has a shelf life before it gets repetitive. And you know, uh, the character Arbed from Community said at best, it's the most you can hope for, for from a TV show is six seasons in a movie. Anything after that, it generally starts to do weird things or like people move on and leave the show and they try to replace them and then the show doesn't do as well, like... Yeah. And I think the Big Bang Theory is one of those ones that they probably should have ended a while ago. If they haven't ended it already, to be honest, I, I don't keep up with it. It got a chuckle from you here and there, but it gave disingenuous vibes like it was trying too hard to be nerdy. Exactly. I think what I like about that 70s show is like... Um, it's a mix of, like, a dude that's clearly a geek and awkward. There's a foreigner. There's a guy that's just, like, you know, against the machine. And then a guy that's really stupid. And people that are sassy as well. And then, yeah. Just, it's a good mix. It just reminds me of some friends I had as well. Just an interesting group dynamic. And, you know, the, the angry dad is just... That's a trope that I do enjoy. And has, like, one of the best, uh, like, discipline lines. It's always going to put his foot up their ass. I'm just gonna send to the cows and then we'll head out. Um, I think I did keep cauliflower from memory. Let's see. Yeah, okay. But I'll, I'll have to give uh, Trigon a go. It's kind of hard to get into new shows as well. Because, man, like, Netflix has been just on a cancellation rampage. I feel like, uh, just, you can't get into Netflix shows anymore because a lot of them just get canned. And as far as movies goes, like, um, I've been watching a lot of older movies, like, stuff from the 80s and, well, late 80s, late 70s, 80s, and, like, 90s. Because it's, it's, I feel like any movie that comes out these days, with a few exceptions, is just, they're doing the same movie over and over again, just different characters, and a slight change to, like, what the story plots are. I gotta go check on my fire pit. I'll just sell that. You've been having a hard time finding anything new that's good. Or that you don't have to wait a week or longer between episodes. Can't bring yourself to watch new Witcher season. Heard The Last of Us is good so far, though. Yeah. I've heard the same thing about The Last of Us. Um, but I won't be checking it out because I this is the year that I play that game. And I've heard it's one of the best video game adaptations, so you know it's going to be pretty true to the game. So there'll definitely be spoilers. Is the remaster for that game out yet? I was gonna play it for Halloween last year. 
but then they announced the remaster. So, I was like, well... Guess it's next year. Um, how am I doing for fiber? I guess it doesn't matter. I'll check it later. But I need to put one more Junimo hut up. Just avert your eyes from all the spoilers. People are going to be talking about those games again. The remaster is out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at the moment I'm taking a break from games that, I guess, will provide some form of stress. But it's definitely on the cards for this year. I've had multiple people say I should play it, so... Uh, I will do it. Even though I'm not one for horror games, it's balanced out by, like, the storytelling being good. Topic, how's uh how's the job going, dude? nice and early, so... Should be able to get a lot of stone out of this. Usually hate the horror genre because you're a pansy and because the stories are usually bad. <laughs> The, the thing is, I, I appreciate classic horror. Modern horror, I feel like a lot of it is just... They try to startle you, or they make it just super tense, or... They just make it extra gory so it grosses you out. <laughs> you don't want to piss yourself at a cheap jump scare just to be told a dumb story afterwards. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm very selective about horror, but it's just, it's not my thing. Never has been. I forgot what movie it was that I saw it, but like, there were some of the scenes where I just laughed at it because of just how absurdly over the top it was. Job's been going pretty well, been grilling the meats, nice.
I don't know if I need this many triple shots, but I guess now it's just I can back to back drink them. There's no hesitation. I can't remember if you told me this story, but you had a guy complain that he couldn't chew through his pork belly. When you looked at it, it was still half raw on one side. Like he didn't even wait for you to flip it. Oh, ugh. So this is clearly something that's their fault. They just grabbed that and started eating it, and then it was like, well, this is an animal. No, you haven't told the story. Go on. Probably head back up, but I'll do it in a minute after a little bit more stone here. Ah! Alright, uh, give me my cactus fruit heal. Oh, that's it. You were too baffled to even maintain service mode. You were just like, sir, it's still raw. And he was just like, oh, at least he didn't get even mad. Okay, yeah. Well, that's good. At least I had a good sense of humor about it. Sir, it's raw. What are you doing, you donkey? <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, enough with the crabs. It's still fucking oinking, you donkey! Oh, dude, have you seen the, uh... There's a dude on YouTube that does a bunch of, uh, edits. Of different things. But he's got a little mini-series going where it's, uh... Breaking Bad edited into Hell's Kitchen, and it's so good. If you haven't seen it already, I recommend it. There's only two of the videos out, like the second one just came out today. think you have. Uh, I... Did I put a link in Discord to it today? I can't remember. I did. It's in Discord, the link to episode 2, but if you go to the dude's channel from there, you'll be able to find the first episode. It's not that long. It's pretty short, but it, I think it's well edited. And some of the other edits on that channel are pretty good, too. Um... Yeah. Hang on.
Not bad. I gotta really up money soon. <sighs> okay. I mean, I think I'm. I think I'm just gonna sell coffee at this point. <laughs> I've got enough of it. Okay, let me see how many I need. I think I have an entire left side to fill in. Yeah, more or less. Garlic is the best item in Vampire Survivors. Oh no, it's really good. Always excited to get it, but you can't do without it. Like I, I've been using Laurel a lot more now that I found out how it evolves. And Laurel can be just as good, it's just the garlic has, I think, the benefit of damage, whereas in Laurel, if you're really, really overwhelmed, a high-level Laurel is, uh, pretty decent. Okay, another 22. How do I, how do I, how does that keep happening? Like, I'm guessing I can't really do what I'm trying to get it to do. <laughs> anyway, I keep having that happening to me. I love getting garlic because I do the warrior voice. I'm like, garlic, oh yes! The jellyfish and the dairy plant level are testing your anger issues. Oh man, some of the stages get insane. One of the later levels, it's just... By the 15 minute mark, it's just so packed with enemies, it's, it's kind of crazy. Did I miss any... Yes, there. Okay. Making my way through it. I mean, what do these involve? They, so these involve wood, iron bar, and oak resin, which... I guess I can make a bunch. I might upgrade my brewing capabilities as well. more eggs in here still, right? Yeah. I'm behind on eggs, <laughs> somehow. Okay. I think it's because there's more animals now, so I, I do need to rearrange things. 
All right, let me go check on this because I haven't checked on it in a while. Yep, G. That tree was surrounded by random junk. Okay, at least that's handled. Alright, I've kind of been not paying attention to this, so let me do something. Do I have enough stone? I'm not sure. Hopefully. I'm out of wood, apparently. Okay, hang on. Wait, what do you mean I'm out of wood? Hold on. Five fifty. Okay, that's what I'm reading wrong. That was a bad idea. Okay. Could have been worse. Alright. And the pigs will be there in a couple more days. Right, I'm just gonna chop trees on the way home here. Because I just lost a lot of uh, wood. Stealing trees right outside of the compass this place. I mean, it depends if it belongs to them. I mean, if anything, it could be just the local council. Like, they'd be the ones probably the most pissed about it. I still haven't gotten the shortcuts. I don't think they're necessary. It's so much money for something where I'm not really going down those paths anymore. Oh, look, the house. Oh, wait, never mind. The barn wanted to be pet. <laughs> the building wanted to be pet. The shed. Jeez, I got there eventually. please. Ah. All 
Actually, I think I need that for potions. Okay. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to collect. Okay, there's two things I'm gonna do. Consistency and I guess satisfaction that I've done it. Okay, I have enough for another Junima hot. I just don't think I have the stone for it. Which I can solve. Okay, let's go collect. Let's do as much of this as we can. I think I... Hang on. Did I do this wrong? No. Okay, good. Before this gets out of control, you know? collect it, because I don't want to risk, like, hitting them and then losing it. I was like, what? What do you mean? What do you mean the comp place down? Okay, let's go. Why is that one at the entrance different and weird? Ah, okay. It's not too big of a deal since the room isn't full yet. set the indicators just so they're correct. Okay, 
How many days are left on these? Five? Okay. Alright, another one that I have to do. I mean, I don't have to do it, but I want to. Probably won't get time to finish this room, we'll see. Ah. Oh my god. Stop it. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I, I, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. Oh. Okay, just do that. I might be able to finish the room at the very least. I'll get it done. I'll just stretch it out to one thirty. Oh, no, I've ruined it. Okay, I gotta go. I'll finish it tomorrow. <laughs> Just in time, we're fine. Ten seconds to spare. Don't stress, I've got this. Where is child number two? There you are. Okay. Still not there yet. Today is fruit day. Okay, now... This is what I have to plan out now.
Is it possible to optimize fishing in this game? Just farming. Uh... I mean, you do get fishing power and make your fishing easier, but... I mean, in general, it's... The most money will be made at this point in the game by, like, automating your farm. So at this point, you're trying to set up machines that do your work for you, so you go do a bunch of other tasks to kind of make sure that happens. But I mean, it's a farming sim, so you know. What's fish with power? Just how easy you can catch fish in the minigame. It's just, there's a bar. I mean, this counts as farming. It's just a fish farm. Like here I'm setting up machines that, for example, make diamonds, so... To get that I need to get, uh... Stone and like a bunch of ores and stuff, so... You tend to go to areas where you fight monsters and... Mine. I don't know how many I need, I'll just take this many. Set up again, and remove the indicator. Alright. Oh wait, while I'm here. Okay, uh, tend to the animals, and I gotta go collect all the fruit from all the various places. Oh, and this is ready too. Okay, uh, let's do this first. I think early on, like, you have a choice of what you want to make money off. But at, the, at this point here, it's like... Farming eclipses... Any kind of revenue you can get from other sources. Because you're converting things to, like, artisan goods. And that just sells for more. And then it's all about, like, just setting up factories and automating some of the stuff you used to have to do by hand. I may have missed one, I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, keep going. Definitely burning through the fruit now. Which is what I wanted with this. Did I miss one? No. Okay. Uh, 
caught up here. Alright. Ah, uh, wait, I should probably pet them. Okay, uh... I don't know, thinking dinosaurs. I gotta go get the other egg now. Wait, did I miss... Ugh, I didn't... I think I missed the milk day. That's why this extra. Alright. It's fine, I'll just come back here at the end of the day. Oh, it's money day. Alright. Guess just get half of the stack. I wonder if this lot is going to be done this year. I don't know. Possible it won't be. We'll see. 56 days. Mm. No, it's not. It's perfectly two months, so it's. It might wrap up within the time frame I've allocated myself to, like, play this game still. It might still come off one more time. Otherwise, I guess I can take it out when it's at gold quality and then just make sure I get the money from it. It's probably a good idea. I've heard that's more efficient as well, just to stop it at gold. Okay. Now it's fruit collection time. Is there anything else? Yep, yeah, that's all done. Maybe the cheese is done now, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got here in time. It's about to come off. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Alright, cool. I'm up to date now.
Oh wait. Here first. Alright, this isn't too bad. I thought everything was going to be ready here. Getting a little worried I'm not going to make the 10 million before the end of the year. I don't know. I think it's going to be like right on the edge. I guess while this comes to us, I can sell like some produce I have. Okay, I'm gonna quickly check if I can maybe do prismatic challenge or something. Nope, it's not here. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta go to the park and collect. These are ready now, too. These are going to be ready in 20 seconds. Yep, this is all ready. Okay, I need to load this one up with stuff. And this one. Uh, let's see. Which one has the most at the moment? Okay, that'll do. working? Yes. Okay. As long as they're all doing something. Always something else to do. Okay, I need to put these to sell first. I don't have inventory space. Okay.
It's pretty much just every three days where I have to do a bunch of stuff and then... The rest of the days are fine. There's not as much to do. Did I miss one? <laughs> it's late for me, so... Alright, I'm just gonna trust I didn't miss one. Uh, so I mean, I can't really do much else, huh? Okay, one thing I do want to see, because I am going to plan this out now. Oh, what am I missing? Call! Okay, I'll make some call. This is more for later, but I guess I'm jumping the gun a little. I just want to say something. Okay, yeah, as I thought, so it's five. Okay, so then... Five... Five, five, perfect. Perfectly planned by me. <laughs> okay, beehives. I mean, it's a bit late, it's gonna lead into winter, but this is more just for completionism sakes. Oh. Okay, I have to use a tile, a different tile. I'll figure it out later. Damn. Yeah, that wine. Okay. Is child no longer neglected? Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Still not there yet. Oops. Wait, what did I just do? Okay. Whatever. Okay, I guess that one's handling that. Where's this one? 
Ah. Uh, I think I still have these. All right. Let me just see how many I need. It might be just three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's three. Got one more. I'm surprised I don't have them anywhere. Let me just double check. Maybe I have some somewhere. I'll go check the island as well. I could have sworn I had more. Otherwise, it's not a big deal to craft another. Dual purpose. Oh, there's an iridium one. <laughs> I, I could use it, but for the sake of consistency. I guess this is done, so... those for when it's fruit day. Wait, what's this? Okay, uh, it's ready for pigs. I need to move them. Okay. Uh, move home. Um, <laughs> that's so slow. Okay, uh, I gotta go get a heater as well for them. Okay. 
Okay. So I need two more ostriches now. And two more sheep. I have an ostrich egg on me. Okay, that's useful. Wait. <laughs> that's the incubator. There we go. A dinosaur. Uh, let's see. Well, she's at a house, so I should be able to get the new animals. Okay. Uh, shape. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I've been going with like... Just things starting with bar. Creatively empty at the cell. <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> Next, now we go invest in some pigs. Bab, damn it, that would have been a good one. But I went with Banksy. All right, name my pig then. I don't remember what the other ones are called. I know one of them's Chris P. Bacon. I don't know if we have Kevin Bacon. Probably do. It's one of the more obvious ones. I need to get a few pigs in here so you know. There's multiple to name. Twizzler? Sure. <laughs> Anyone else want to name a pig? I got a... I believe five more. No, more than that. Like, we're gonna go absolutely mental with the truffles. I'm gonna call one just Hogsworth. Uh, trying to think what else. No. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I just read thought of a good one. That's like after the, the pig in Gravity Falls. Mm. 
I guess we can go with, like that. How many more do I have? Oinkle Sam. <laughs> uh, I hope there's enough room. There should be. Okay. Uncle Sam. Jeez. It's, it's a pretty good one, not gonna lie. That's, that's, okay, one more. <laughs> um... What was the name of the pig in Toy Story? Okay. Oh, I got a good one. Like, after the actor. It already works. I still have more room for pigs. Um, it's too long, but I was going to put Chris Hamsworth. <laughs> it doesn't fit. I'm sad. Well, oh, I'd missed an obvious one. Hamlet. This, surely I'm full of pigs now. Yeah, that's it. Alright. The barn is at capacity. Now, going to go absolutely insane with the, uh... The truffles. I'm going to expand the mayonnaise factory as well. Cut. Got to take care of the cars now. Oh, I forgot the teeter. I still got time. gonna suffer in winter. I'm gonna set up a truffle oil factory down there somewhere as well, but for now. Alright, there we go. A lot of back and forth. Thing. They don't need a heater, the slimes. Okay, but like, I'll just put it here. <laughs> Look at all the pigs. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I need to open the doors to them. I'm gonna go to Robin and repaint the building. feel accomplished. Hopefully all those pigs start finding truffles soon. Okay, uh, construct farm. 
on buildings, paint. Gotta be consistent. Alright, there we go. Fits in. I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon cutting down trees. I wish I would have done the pig thing sooner. Oh, now a tree. Train. <laughs> I'm always ages away and then it's like, oh no, here's a train. It's never worth it, chat. Just ignore the train. By the time you get there, it's already gone. It's not worth your, your time. Ignore the siren call of the train. I think they need to make it a thing that... Like, let's say, if you don't go there after an hour, then it doesn't appear. But if you get there within the hour, it just gets there as soon as you get there. And then it makes it more worthwhile going there, but by the time you get there, unless you're immediately there, it's just never worth it. stone do I have? I gotta go check. Yeah, not enough. Alright, I gotta go get stone. I'll put this out later. Like, I don't really mind about the honey right now. Oh, wait. Do this first. This is always worth checking. I'm sad that I couldn't fit the name Chris Hamsworth. I thought that was good, but I think Oinkle Sam is, uh, is a worthy alternative. I mean, I'm not American, but damn it if that doesn't make you feel patriotic. Bring me some joy that he's a pig. Yeah. I think I'm at the point where I can craft the, uh... The haste potions, or whatever they are.
Like, I think I've saved enough, uh, void things. You're watching some big tennis match in my neck of the woods while you were getting a haircut the other day. Okay, the Australian Open, I would imagine. Yeah, that's the one that happens in January. I kind of forgot how serious tennis is, so many people were there. Oh no, yeah, the Australian Open's a massive thing here. It's, uh, on the, the circuit of, uh, like, big tennis events. It's considered, like, a pretty, uh, high test of fortitude as well, because it's summer here. And the temperatures... Man, they can get really sweltering. This year's been alright. Like, it hasn't been that bad, but other years, they're playing matches and, like... When outside, it's 40 degree heat. Celsius. Um, they have air conditioning and whatnot, but, like, you know... It's definitely a test of fortitude, that, that tournament. Managed to catch me before work. Oh no, what time is it for me? Okay, it's not that late. I mean, it's late, but not as late as it usually has gotten here. Got a solid of our hour of sleep on oh, no. Were you watching the whole time? <laughs> or were you just in and out of it? Jeez. You're in and out calling it lurking. I mean, fair enough. Do you have, like, an audience for that sort of thing? I know what time it is, just want to grab that, and out we go. I left some of this stuff for decoration, like I'm gonna display treasure as decoration in Lewis's shorts. Like, it's one of Wario's prized treasures. There's no way Lewis is getting those shorts back. Hopefully that'll teach him. I helped your anxiety ridden ass to chill out and catch some sleep. Well, glad I can be of service. Sandy, have you watched JoJo yet? Just out of interest. 
You know what? I'm sure you would have, because uh, if you would have, you would have said something about it already. <laughs> I would have, I would have heard about it if you had. So don't worry. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's leave it for now. thing okay uh how many do I need I need to go check you have not you've been more emotional lately than normal so you have been delaying breaking your own heart with Joe jokes fair enough uh, I doubt I'm going to fill it in, but let me just... Okay, 16, 24, 32, 31, 31. 31. I doubt I'm going to make 31. But let's just be careful, just in case. Oh no, I definitely won't. I'll make 11. I'm out of coal again. Definitely know when you're done. Fair enough. Be curious to know what you think. <laughs> Everyone has like a different feeling about the ending of that arc. things now. Oh yeah. I gotta, uh, I think I used stone too much. We'll see. Hang on to the one egg, because I need to make another ostrich. Do I need to make another dinosaur? I'm not sure. I think I do. Alright. Uh...
I gotta go check on the fire pit and see if my trees are still okay. What about here? Is this... Okay. Wait, how much time is left on these? Okay. Not worth waiting. Uh, I'll just get these. How's this looking? Hey, look at all the pigs. <laughs> okay, I need to clear a spot so they can... I'm gonna make, like, I guess the entry. Wait, what's this? Oh, what? Since... Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What? There's an ent... <laughs> Okay. Well. Now I know, I guess. I had no idea that was there. I guess that's good to know. Alright. Everything clear around here? Oh. <sighs> Okay, all the trees are clear. Okay, nothing to do here. Let me go see if I can make the final Junimo house. I can. Okay, uh, it's... Fiber, stone, and then nine fruit. Wait, oh, it's here. I moved it. No, you know what? Let's do the cheap ones. There we go. for that. Okay, <laughs> there we go. No more Junimo huts required. Okay, now I'm gonna move base of operations. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much of this I need. I'll just make whatever I can. Leave one. I'll leave this here, it's just I'm gonna do a little swap. Um, I need to think about how I'm gonna lay this out.
pick, please. You need to move. Pick! Okay, um... Let me think. This pig's in the way. I might need to rethink this. I was gonna put it here originally, but I think this is not the way. Okay, they've gone in. I can work on this now. I don't want to dedicate too much space to it. I have an idea. Pig! Okay, that'll do it. I might have to go make more of this, but let's just see. Okay, I mean, not bad, not bad. All right, now put one along here. Okay, that covers it for the time being. Uh, do this. Okay, I think that's good enough. Wait, no. Ugh. And I need to do more to it. Hang on. Yeah. I know this might be weird, but like, I'm gonna have a walkway this way as well. Which I guess it only needs to be one. I just don't want it to be too claustrophobic. Like... Okay. The mods are cool. They are. Yeah. It adds a lot more to the game. It's been fun. Another six. What do I need? I need slime for this? Okay. I need slime for this. Um, let me get some hardwood fence. Okay, and we're gonna make... Another eight of these. Upping egg production. Alright, I need to get this sorted. I forgot a gate. Forgot a gate. I need to get rid of this tree because it's kind of visually in the way. Okay, now... There we go. And put the gate there. Hang on, my headset's complaining about battery, I need to deal with it. Give me a sec, chat. One complain about this headset, it's great, but like, the battery gets down to 10%, and then it starts beeping in your ear like every five seconds until you deal with it, even though the battery could probably last another hour. 
All right, that'll do for now. I'll make another one to even it out, but. Okay, and then here. This is now changing. Double production. Because there's going to be ostriches and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and this is going to get doubled as well. So this will be six as well. I need normal wood. Wait, do I need fiber? Really? Ah, uh, alright. I'm low on fiber. Fine, I'll deal with it. Uh, that, that. Alright, but like, I mean, the general idea is there. It's, I moved things, and now this is like egg. Eggs and wool. Truffle is at the bottom, and cheese is up here, so... I've segmented everything off. So... I guess this is, like, roughly it in terms of animal. Remember, I can farm fiber. I know, but I have to make room for it. That's the problem. Like, I don't want to go out of my way to get it. Like, maybe in winter. But, yeah. Hey, cat. <laughs> you are late. I know. Wish I could stay out longer, but I can probably only do one more day, and then I got I got a jet. I have I have a pretty busy week since it's like a I guess technically a half week this week. So I gotta make sure stuff gets done. All right, I'll just go out here and cut whatever I can. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I'll just sell them. Tomorrow is fruit, a fruit harvest day. Ugh. It said say yesterday, so you weren't sure if I was streaming this out. Yeah, I mean, I kind of gave myself a cutoff. I, admittedly, I've gone over it already a little, but it's fine. Just, you know, when people pop in, it's harder for me to go, you know? But I, I can't keep that up forever. <laughs> like, I have to draw the line. Okay, last day for today. <laughs> right, a small detail with the mods that you like is that the forest doesn't spawn random sticks and stones like in vanilla. Oh. Yeah, I mean, then they also have grass growing, which kind of makes sense. So you can... get hay from the forest.
I mean, they may, they're more than make up for it, because there's other areas you can get wood and stone, so... It's not like you miss the random little pieces. I think they're there to be more of a hindrance in the early game, and then later on it's like, eh. 15 Omni Geodes, uh oh. I mean, I kind of cracked all of them open. Um, I can get them easily though when I go to the cave. To go get, uh, stone. I don't know there was an exit to the woods. Where I have the pigs. Oh wait, I forgot to grab this as well. Okay. That's gonna be ready tomorrow, but that's like... A future me problem. I missed the spot. Ha! Huh. Oh well. That was strawberry. Or maybe I should save that for wine, actually, because I can... Because I need to do, like, another berry dust rounds. Um... I'll just keep with this, it's fine. You don't find it that annoying to miss a spot in the greenhouse because of the dirt. Yeah, it just stays there. Outside I missed a spot and I was a little annoyed. <laughs> I was like, ah. It's so glaring. fill this up. I think I'll fix the rest of the harvest doesn't seem like the thing. Uh, I mean, it's kind of caught up. Like, I've split it up more. All of them have about ten in them, which is not too bad. I think the, the answer was just, like, add a, cup, add a few more and just it doesn't matter. I thought this would work, but I think, ultimately, I, I would need, like, a whole line of them. I was thinking about it more visually than what would work. But, I mean, I guess... What I could do is just, like, line them up along the bottom here or something. I don't know. 
I don't think I'll resolve it, to be honest. Like, I think I'll just leave it, just because it looks nice. I'll probably, like, add the others to fill in the gaps, and that's it. Like, I'm trying to get other stuff up and running, and unfortunately it's, like, kind of like a clash of resources at the moment. I will just straight up start selling fruit soon. Because those trees are just gonna... They're gonna give me so much fruit and I'm just gonna have too much. So I'll start selling the gold star ones. And keep the low star ones for whatever I want to do. I don't think I need this many, but this is just for the sake of symmetry. Did I go down here? No. I guess with the dinosaurs, it, there'll be like a point where I will need that many. Just selling the sunflowers. Okay. Uh, now it's island. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I go to the park first. Ah, there's another one done. Oh yeah, see, I can probably. Which one had, like, 30? One of these had almost 30. That has 22. What about this one? 28. 16. Alright, let's stack. Yeah, I mean... Hang on. It's not too bad. I think if I add a, a few more, it'll shift it towards not really having that many extra. It was definitely a lot worse before when I was trying to make it so each hopper dealt with the pond in front of it. Like, that just that didn't work. Some were just too uh, overwhelmed. Need a bench or two. Yeah. I will get there. Um, on the topic of benches, like, what is available in terms of benches? I don't really remember any benches. 
Or is it like, I'm gonna have to pretend like one's a bench, kind of like I made the cushions in the fire pit. Off to work. Alright, see ya, Sandy. Try to enjoy your day. I say that because lack of sleep. I need to look into what's available. I know outdoor furniture is like limited. There are a few benches. Do you craft them or where do you get them from? Crafting. I don't know if there's a bench. Do you guys uh, imagine if I was to take a guess, Robin? Too late to go there. From the catalog. Wait, so catalog stuff works outside? I thought it was only for indoor stuff. Well, uh, still the point stands. I'll, I'll get there. It will happen before I wrap up. I mean, look, I'm, I'm working on the outside part, like the farm, like, come on, I have made progress in terms of visuals. It's not like I've been ignoring it. Okay, but noted, I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Like, uh, compare this to how year four started, come on. I've, I've worked on things. Rome wasn't built in a day. Trust the system. You should know how I play. <laughs> Putting that little frowny is just like... Uh, it's not gonna change my opinion. I need to put a, uh, a way to sell down here. I'll probably put it next, just there. I won't do it today. Okay, I need the slime to make more truffle. Well, oil thingies. I need hardwood more than anything else. I'm gonna have to get more hardwood. Okay, well I can do that now. I don't need to do too much, I'll just fill it in to... Like I'll leave a space here, so it's just three more I need to make. I should cover it. Okay. I think this is gonna look nice once it's done. But it's getting there. Wait, did I... Ah. Make sure nothing's going on around here. Okay. Right, my axe is, like, extra strong. I suppose there is an advantage to it. <laughs> they need to fix that. Like, just... Stuff that's out of reach. You like that area, even though it's just decoration. I know, right? I'm pretty happy with it. But I mean, it does. There's gonna be fruit trees there. We'll have a source of income in in the spring. 
It's a very short-lived one, but I mean, at least there's something. But I mean, it's the same with the park, right? Like, I just... I, d I don't like having things too far apart and split. Like, that just seems way out of the way. So, I think it's a nice balance. It's like, if I don't... If I forget about it, it's no big deal. And there's one of those things that I guess it's just... I want to make things look nice as opposed to, like, super functional. I can make stuff look nicer than, like, be extremely, uh... You know... On point. <laughs> I'm sure there are people that can do far more optimal stuff than me. I'm not going to win any contests there. The map changes are for people that want to go further than year 5 and need slash want more space for multiplayer. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright chat, well, yeah, like I said, this is going to be my last day, and it's about that time where I'm gonna say thank you for watching as the final day wraps up. Appreciate you for hanging out as always, uh, especially if you're new to the stream, checking out the stream, appreciate you a lot for doing that. If you wanna find me on the internet in other places, YouTube's the best place to go. Uh, past streams are uploaded there, there's a channel for highlights as well, and another one where on weekends I've been messing around with YouTube streaming, doing a few things there, so if you do check it out, easiest way is just look for this channel name on YouTube, it's the same. Or you can go to my website shambles.gg, has links in one handy dandy place. Hope you do check it out, but otherwise I hope you enjoyed hanging out here for today. I will return tomorrow, and we'll do a bit more of this, but uh, I have a busy week ahead as it's a short week, so don't expect me up for too late, you know? Um, but later on this weekend, uh, I'm gonna see if I can do like some drawing games with some of the regulars uh, this weekend, because it's a long weekend for me, and it's also uh, my... I might be, I might be getting older this week, just gonna say that. So, I'll probably do something for that. Uh, yeah. Let's see. What else do I usually say? Oh yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video and watching it and getting this far. If you want to support the stream, easiest way is just by hitting that like button. It lets me know that you enjoyed the content, so I do more of it. And YouTube's algorithm things. So, you know. Okay, I'm done talking. <laughs> the bot might be a bit slow. But thanks for doing that cut. Okay. I should really write down what I want to say. And I don't want it to sound rehearsed. But at the same time, like I, I feel like I talk for too long saying that outro. I need to condense it. I don't know. Oh look, it's Ancient Fruit Day. By the way, chat, have you seen my handy dandy video on like how to know when your ancient fruit is ready? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, it is It is a good short though. It's on TikTok and y YouTube shorts, if you're curious. Alright. I'm just being facetious. Keynotes, yeah, it's probably a good idea. I'll, I'll work on it. I'm slowly getting there. I'm trying to also make, uh, not exactly going live notifications on Twitter, but more just saying, hey, I'm gonna be up to this today. Making it less robotic. So. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Again, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. <laughs>